Fable City Radio One Minute Fairy Tales One Minute Puss in Boots Once upon a time there was a guy with three sons. Then he died and gave his three sons everything he owned. One got his grain mill, one got his donkey, and the youngest one only got a cat. He was really pissed off until the cat started talking and telling him he could make him rich if he would give him a pair of boots and a sack. The kid gave the cat what he asked for and decided to call him Puss in Boots. The cat put on his boots, caught a bunny and some birds in the bag, and gave him to the king. And the king gave Puss a bunch of gold because he loved eating fresh critters. The cat showed the gold to the kid and said, there's a lot more where that came from, just trust me. Tomorrow you have to go jump in the river, keep your mouth shut, and let me do the rest. Puss waited by the river and when the king drove by, he yelled, help, help, my master's drowning. The king's men saved the youngest son and Puss told the king that the kid was the Lord Carabas who owns lots of land in a castle and that some thieves stole his clothes and threw him in the river. The king took the kid to his castle and gave him fancy clothes that made the princess fall in love with him and then they all went for a drive. While the king got his buddy all fixed up, Puss went down the road telling everybody, tell the king that Lord Carabas is your master and that he owns everything or I'll scratch your face off with my cat claws. Then Puss went to the castle where an ogre lived and dared him to turn himself into a mouse, which the ogre stupidly did, so Puss ate him and stole his castle and his servants. When the king drove by, he asked everybody who the land belonged to and they all said, Lord Carabas, because they didn't want to have their faces scratched off. When the king got to the ogre's castle, all of his servants said that the castle belonged to Lord Carabas too. The king was real impressed, so he let his daughter marry Puss's pal because he thought he was such a rich lord, which now he was. And they ate all the ogre's food and took all the ogre stuff and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Go to FableCityRadio.com for the real stories with music, sound effects, fairy tale trivia, and more. Also available on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.